everybody, John McClellan, ATXHotsauce.com. Love our videos, subscribe below, you'll see a lot more of them. Uh, back today with some quick tips for fermentation, little short videos that we're doing. If you like this one, check out some of our other short videos and little quick how-to things uh, about the different uh, processes during the fermentation. Uh, we're gonna talk about the bottling aspect right now and labels, labels. Uh, labels can be a little bit daunting. You know, you try to print them on your home printer, you get somebody else to print them for them, they could be expensive. Uh, the design aspect, you wanna make them nice. Sometimes they get bubbles when you put the uh, um, labels on here. You can kind of hear that, right? Those bubbles that show up. Here's another one that had some bubbles on it. These were before we got our labeling machine, but not everybody has a labeling machine. So I'm gonna show you a quick tip today on how to put these labels on here without having bubbles. And a little bonus, shrink wrap. So I'm gonna show you how to put the shrink backs on the way we do it here. There's a couple of different processes you can do. Some people use hot bath, water baths, things like that. We use a heat gun. I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So here we go. All right, first of all, um, labels. Um, I get mine, this is a big question I get on our YouTube channel all the time. Where do I get our labels at? Well, Avery.com has a, and by the way, not a paid, paid advertisement here. Avery.com has a great design tool. Just go to Avery.com and design your own. You can upload your logos, whatever you want. And then you can print them at home, but I recommend to have them print them for you. Uh, they just look nicer. They hold up better uh, when they get wet. Um, just a lot of reasons why I would have them or somebody else print them for you. Um, now, putting the labels on, here's what can be a little bit tricky, right? Sometimes we get these bubbles in here when you don't have a labeling machine, and those can be a pain in the butt because you ruin a label. Labels can be anywhere from 20 cents to 60, 70 cents a piece, a piece depending on what kind of paper you put on there. So you want to make sure you get it right the first time. You want to look professional, right? So I like to lay the bottle on the side, right? I'm going to take the label off right here. Here's the tricky part. We're going to line it up just so it's perfect. And then you're just going to take one finger and you're going to roll the bottle and you're going to push your finger right down the middle. Spread it out. Spread it out. Perfect label. Just like that. All right, let me do it again for you. Lay your bottle down flat, right? Get the label. Make sure it's lined up. Take one finger, press it all the way around. This lets the air disperse this way and this way. Wipe it, wipe it. Same here and here. Another perfect label. There you go. It's really that easy to put these on here. Uh, next, let's talk about the shrink wraps. Everybody's like, oh cool, how do you do the shrink wraps? Uh, they're really easy to do. <laughs> um, but what you don't want is a little airspace on the top of this right here. So what I like to do is when we're doing these, I'll get the bottle, right? Put the foil wrapper on here, the shrink wrap. You got a heat gun, because only real men have heat guns, right? Oh, there it goes. And a magic, snap your fingers, and the switch comes on. Wait till that heats up a little bit. We're gonna put this straight down just like that and hold it down. And then don't get too close to it. And just finish it off, getting all those bubbles out. Bam, you got your one. Let's do one more here. And then I'm gonna show you what not to do. Plunk it down, don't get too close to it. And don't overdo it. And I'm gonna show you why you don't wanna overdo it here, right? There's another perfect bottle done. So let's get another one of these full wraps out. Put it down like this. We're gonna get real close, get it real hot. Oh, yeah, see, that's a problem. That's a big problem right here, right? You get the air gun too close, so there's a fine line between getting it on there just right and giving too much heat to it. We're gonna have to redo this one again. It just basically melts. Listen, thanks for watching. Quick tips, quick tips. Join, go look at the playlist down below. If you like our videos, hit subscribe below.